Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the latest PyCoin wallet as well as how to add the latest active nodes if you're having any kind of connectivity issues. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the PyCoin.info site. You want to use this site. The .tech and .net site are the old devs and they do not have the latest versions of the wallets on there. So you're definitely going to want to get everything from PyCoin.info. So first thing we do, I'm going to go down to the Windows download as I'm on Windows 10 right now. I already downloaded that to my desktop to save time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it, extract all, and I'm going to put it into a basic folder for ease. Alright, and I'm going to open the wallet. I'm opening the wallet so that I produce the app data and config files that I'm going to need to add our active notes to. It's going to take a while to load for the first time. Alright, so first thing is, sometimes you're going to see down here, no connectivity, or one or two. I'm getting two right now, but I'll show you how to add more. We're going to close the wallet completely. We're going to go to C, Users, your computer name, and then we're going to go to this app data folder. Sometimes you won't see this. If it's hidden on your computer, you can go up here, and there's a Show Hidden Items button. So we're going to click that, we're going to go into Roaming, and we're going to go into PyCoin. Now in here, we're going to go back to PyCoin.info site, go to Active Nodes, and right here is a list of all the current nodes you can connect to. What we're going to do is we're going to go back, right click, Save Link As. I've already saved that to my desktop as well, right here. It's a text file. We're going to copy the text file and go back into that roaming app data PyCoin folder. And we're going to paste it but it's a text document. We need to convert it to a config, so we're going to open it up. We're going to go File, Save As. We're going to change this to All Files. We're going to come back to PyCoin.info, and we're going to get this PyCoin.config. Oops. Try it again. What we're going to do is we're going to paste that here. And save. And now, when we go back here, you should see that it shows up as a .config file. Yours might not have this symbol on it because I have Notepad++ on this computer, but we can go ahead. Uh, having issues with my uh, mining computer right now. Team Viewer trying to disconnect from it. Alright, we're going to go ahead, right click, and delete the text document copy. We're going to leave the config file. Now we're going to go back to where we installed the PyCoin app. We're going to reopen it up and it's going to start trying to sync out all those new nodes that we connected to it. And we wait for that. We're going to go into settings and encrypt wallet. I'm just going to go ahead and I have test passwords and whatnot for this wallet. You want to make sure you have a very difficult password or passphrase uh, because this is what you will use to recover your wallet. You also want to make sure that all of your uh, you save all of this because if you lose this you lose your keys, you lose your coins. So you definitely want to save this. I'd suggest printing it out and uh, saving it somewhere rather than putting it on your computer because if somebody hacks in your computer they have your wallet, they have your keys therefore they can steal, steal your coins. So anyways go ahead and save this. It's going to warn you that if you don't save all this, you're going to lose your coin. So definitely save your passphrases. It's going to take a few seconds. It's going to tell you that uh, you're going to have to close the program to uh, complete the process. We're going to reopen it. And also we're going to back up the wallet. I'm going to put it into, for simplicity six, I'm going to put it into the same folder. I'm just going to call it wallet backup. You can put this on like a USB stick or something. This is just to save all of your your data so that if you need to reformat or something, you can come back and put that information back on here to reclaim your wallet with your passphrase. Now what we're going to do 
is uh, you can see now we're all the way up to four active connections. This will increase over time. Uh, ideally, after like a few hours, you want to have a dozen or so. I've had all the way up towards 30. Now, if you're still not getting any connections after adding all the nodes, it's most likely you have a firewall that is blocking it from the internet, or you need to open a port in your router. There's this website, and it will tell you. Uh, it's the Bitcoin talk for the PyCoin reboot. You can see the link up here if you need a copy of that. I'll, I will add that to the description. But anyways, you come down here, and you might need to open this port. This port 31415 in your uh, your router, so that your PyCoin can connect to the internet. Once you've uh, opened the ports, confirm your firewall, and you've added all of the active nodes. Nodes, you should uh, you should be able to connect the servers. You shouldn't have anything interfering anymore, and you should, like my wallet, have all of the. I'm having connectivity issues with my mining computer again. Anyways, that's how you guys set that up. Uh, if you have any other questions, please go to our Discord. You can get to it by going to pycoin.info, and the Discord link is in there. Uh, me and the other mods are usually in there to answer questions. And uh, yeah, you guys have uh, a nice day.